we're going to show you our Greek chicken tray bake. Now, there's nothing better than a tray bake dinner because it all just goes in the oven super easy. Yeah, so we're just going to mix everything together basically, lay it out on a tray, bake it in the oven until it's golden brown and delicious. We love this version because it's all of our favorite Greek flavors like oregano, garlic, lemon, feta. Olives. Delicious. So let's get started. So I'm just going to take, like, we've got the oven preheated to 200 degrees. And you also probably want, like, a large baking tray that's got a bit of a edge mm. around it because there will be some kind of juice that comes out of it. So just set that aside for now. So we've got a large bowl and we've got four chicken thighs with the skin on and bone in. So that's what we're going to start with. And then we've also got one whole red capsicum that's just been chopped up. And half a red onion that we've kind of just chopped into small kind of wedges. And then in here we've got like a little spice mix that we're going to kind of coat all the chicken and vegetables in to make it delicious so it's got olive oil garlic oregano and salt and pepper um, in the description for the video below there'll be a link to the full recipe on our website so it's probably best there just to get all the measurements but i'm just going to pour this all over and then mix it to make sure it's all coated so this is just to coat it and flavor the chicken yes. and the veggies right yep exactly make it delicious this is a super kid friendly recipe again. Um, if they like if feta, they like olives feta and, and olives, most kids probably don't. Um, so you could probably use your hands here as well. I'm just going to try and make sure that all the chickens got that yummy oregano and olive oil on it. And then we're going to pop it out onto our tray. Okay, so it looks pretty good. It looks coated to me. So I'm just going to dump it all out here and then we'll arrange it a little bit better because we want to make sure that the skin for the chicken thighs is facing up and also that it's not being covered by anything else because we want it to go golden brown and all crunchy. So just kind of spread it out. You could use your hands. Probably easier. I would use my hands but I would not. <laughs> <laughs> like touching chicken. You don't like getting your hands dirty. <laughs> okay, so it's probably good. And then we're just going to sprinkle around our other feta. bits and pieces. So we've got just some feta cheese that we've cubed up. We like to use the Greek, well, in Australia, it's called Greek rather than Danish because the Danish one is delicious, but it's really creamy and it's harder to kind of cube up so go for like a firmer variety of feta cheese and then we've got some olives you can use we're using kalamata but you could use whatever your preference is so you just want to make sure it's all distributed around and then we've got a lemon that we've just quartered i'm going to add that in and that really goes yummy and kind of caramelized and then you squeeze that over everything at the end and it's delicious so, how easy was that? Sorry. Literally took five minutes. We've got it all there ready to go. We're going to put it in our 200 degree oven for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to turn the oven up just to get the chicken all golden brown and delicious on top. And we'll cook that for a further 10 to 15 minutes to try yeah. and get it um, crispy on top. Yes. How good does this smell? <laughs> it smells really yummy. We're not having this till later on, which is a bit disappointing now. But you can see like the lemon's gone all caramelized. So if you kind of just pick that up and squeeze it over the top, the feta cheese looks all toasty and delicious yeah, too. Yeah, and the capsicums caramelized a little bit. Yeah, so any of that juice in the bottom, I would kind of just spoon that over the chicken when I serve it all up. But yeah, how easy was that? One pan dinner. All done. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below if you have a favorite tray bake dinner because I'm all for the tray bake dinners. I love them. Yeah, and I think chicken thighs is a good one um, because they roast up really nicely. And it's got the fat with the skin on it and everything yeah. too, so perfect for keto. 
So if you've liked this video guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.